I think the instructors are really attentive. Um, you could go to them with any question, and honestly, the, after my time at HCC, like I feel like I really became friends with all of my instructors for sure. Everything is positive. Everyone's supportive. Everyone loves what they're doing. Everyone loves what the other person is doing. Since theater was a thing I've done since I was little, my mom suggested I take a theater class and that kind of brought back the spark to do theater with my life. Oh, I'd always loved acting. Um, loved it since I was a kid. You know, I was afraid of the rejection and then, you know, other people's opinions about what I should, what I shouldn't do. Some, it, some of it was out of love. Some of it was just, um, you know, just bad experiences with it or the stereotypical things that comes with the entertainment industry. I actually did not choose a major at the beginning. I was undecided because I had no idea what I wanted to do at all. Um, I had been to school previously to a different college, but um, I could not decide my major. Nothing was like really sticking out for me. And then um, I came to HCC and I was like, I just want to try a theater class. And like the first class I tried, I was pushed onto stage and I like, I, I guess, <laughs> I guess I fell in love with it right away because I just basically never stopped. And then I was like, no, I know that theater is the major that I want to have. I actually, I did like that I was able to have a piece of everything in the theater because it's such a small department and everyone wears a lot of hats. You were able, I was able to see how everyone functioned together. I was um, somewhat in a dark place around the end of 2016 and the beginning of 2017, where I didn't think I would be able to do this. I didn't think I would be able to make it in this theater or acting industry, but uh, after taking a break for the spring semester of 2017 and then coming back for this fall semester, it had completely changed. I have never felt more love or support from my professors or directors and castmates and friends than than ever. The cool thing about it was like you you wouldn't expect it from such like a small town kind of feel, but uh, like I feel like I've really gotten connected with other people, other projects because of these instructors. Um, I was able to do commercials and things like that, and um, that's more than I could have ever imagined too. Have, so I did like that I was able to have a piece of everything in the theater because it's such a small department and everyone wears a lot of hats you were able I was able to see how everyone functioned together multitasking and everyone was always eager to teach no matter whether we were in the classroom or not one of the beautiful things about community theater as a hobby or a vocation is that sense of family, that sense of community, that sense of belonging. I believe we have for five, six decades had a really nice key group that, that sort of like an amoeba, it moves a little bit and some people move on and some other people join, but it stays consistently supportive and our students love to spend time with each other. Uh, the lobby of the Kepler Theater is a great gathering place in between classes, in between shows, and they sort of claim their space, and I love it. And when you walk through here during a semester, you'll see people out there running lines with each other. You'll see people dancing on the terrazzo floor. You'll see people planning out a set or using the furniture out there to create a set that they can rehearse on. That's what we want. This is a performing arts center, and it's a safe place, too because we are accepting and open to everybody. The staff and the lessons and foundation that you learn at ACC are going to be extremely vital that, that will take you and carry you uh, throughout your career and your next steps. Um, it is what you make of it. You know, I can say that if I had come here or LA or New York when I was uh, 18 years old or 19 and decided to leave school and do it, I, it, it would have been a very different path for me, I will say. When you're in a learning environment, this is where you can make your mistakes. This is where you can learn and really grow and perfect your craft. Um, and I think ACC did that for me and I know that it can do that for other folks. Come see a show. Come hang out and watch what we do and then decide you want to sign up and enroll in a course or audition for a main stage show. 
just come in, one credit practicum. If you get cast, you don't have to worry about it. Just audition and see what you do. But I think once we get students around other students, I think they realize if they have an inclination toward it, and not everybody does, but then they get introduced, if they come to the Kepler Center, then they get introduced to things like dance, visual arts, sculpture, painting, music, and many times they might start out thinking I want to do theater, but maybe they end up doing music or even art or sculpture or dance. And that is certainly why we have a performing arts center. This is an incredibly valuable asset for our community. I'm talking the facility, I'm not talking us. The facility is an incredible asset to our community. And it's for people of all ages, let's not forget that. You and I have both directed people who are even older than we are. I know that's hard to imagine now, after four decades, but I know, I know back when we both were working here and you were a student of mine, I had some people in the cast who were my age now. So, and they fit in beautifully.